Hello, my name is Christian Samuela and I am from Timisoara, Romania. It is a beautiful city and if you want to know more about it, you should visit. It is going to be European cultural capital in 2021. I am an orthodontist since 2005 and a lecturer on orthodontic topics since 2014. I am also a member of Learning by Doing teaching platform and I am a speaker for GC company, company that made possible these webinars. Today's main topic is bracket bonding. It is going to be divided in smaller part. This part is about adhesion. Other parts are going to be on establishing bracket position, direct bonding protocol, common errors and atypical situations. Correct bracket position is essential for straight wire orthodontic system. By applying a straight arch wire in brackets, a final teeth position should be as close as possible to ideal. But the morphology of the teeth differs. We may have chipped teeth or abrasions. There may be a difference in gingival margins. And all of these things can influence the position of our bracket. All bracket information and all the trouble we go through in order to obtain ideal bracket position is useless when our brackets keep falling off and our treatment is in a standstill. That is why it is imperative for us to know the materials that we are using and to know how to prepare tooth surface to achieve the best outcome. I asked my friend from Learning by Doing, Dr. Mureshan, for more details in adhesion due to the fact that his main topic is direct restorations. The conclusion are as follows. For different suffers, we need different protocols. We are going to start with adhesion to animal because it is the most common case in our trade. Adhesion to animal, it is easy to obtain, it produces high adhesive forces and it has good stability. It is very important to remember always to use etch and rinse technique and never use self-etch on animal. I tried different system and I discovered that GC OrthoConnect is the system to be used primarily because it has incorporated primer. So my protocol for adhesion to animal is etch and rinse, dry, and now is the beauty, no need for bonding. Just apply GC OrthoConnect, light cure and it is done. For addition to sclerotic dentin, you need to total etch 13 to 40 seconds, never self etch and you need to use the sandblaster. For addition to fresh composite with no more than 24 hours after first polymerization was initiated is without problems. It forms a chemical bond. Addition to old composite is more demanding. The use of silica coating enhances adhesion. So we have the new protocol with silica coating, then clean with phosphoric acid, then rinse and dry, apply silan, dry again, then apply the adhesive and then proceed with bracket bonding. Addition to press ceramics, needs sandblasting, then hydrofluoric acid, then rinse and dry. After that, we want to wash with phosphoric acid for 20 seconds, then again we rinse and dry. After this, we drop the patient into the ultrasonic bath. No, we can't do that, so we skip this, this step and apply the silan for ceramics. 
we dry and after that we apply the adhesive. Addition to felspatic ceramic is obtained again by sandblasting then use of hydrofluoric acid 9% this time, rinse and dry, then apply phosphoric acid, rinse and dry again, again we skip the ultrasonic bath, then we apply the silan for ceramics and dry. And after this we apply the adhesive. Addition to zirconium, when we use silica coating, after that we rinse and dry, then we apply MDP containing silan primer, and then we dry, and afterward we apply the adhesive. For best addition to metal, we use again silica coating, then rinse and dry, then silan primer for ceramics, then dry, apply an opacifier, and then apply the adhesive. In my office, in order to simplify the protocol for adhesion to other surfaces than animal, I am using a Sure Plus all surface bonding from Reliance. And it is a really universal bonding because it contains bis-GMA, hydroxyethyl metacrylate and MDP. Steps are really easy. For composite and acrylic temporary or metal, uh, we do profi, then rinse and dry, sandblast, rinse and dry, apply one coat of Assure Plus and lightly dry, and light cure it for 10 seconds. After this, you proceed with placement of bracket as usually. For bonding to porcelain and zirconia, again use profi, rinse and dry, sandblast, rinse and dry, then use porcelain conditioner maintain on surface for 3 minutes, then dry for 30 seconds, apply one coat of a sure plus and lightly dry, then light cure for 10 seconds and after that proceed with bracket placement as usual. I'm sure that these steps are going to help you to avoid a part of stupid emergencies in your office.